Hi everyone. Um, don't worry, I know I'm a little overdressed with Megan out of practice, but this is my casual Friday outfit. Don't worry, you don't have to dress up to practice either. I just wanted to go over a few options for some things you can try at home, um, whether or not you actually have an Atarashi Naginata on hand. So what I have here is actually just the handle off a, a spade or a mop that we haven't had an issue. You can use a cleaning mop, um, anything along these lines will do quite nicely if you want to have something that resembles uh, a Naginata Just going to wait for that plate. Obviously, that uh, these kind of handles aren't the same shape as an Atarashi Naginata handle. Uh, so, whereas the Ebu has more of an oval uh, structure to it, these ones will generally be quite round. But it doesn't stop you practicing the basic technique. Uh, some good things you can do at home, especially if you've got limited space um, and obviously when you don't have a full Naginata, is pretty much just changing Kamai. So, starting off in Chura no Kamai, keep it nice and relaxed, making sure this hand is always pitch just at uh, the point where your uh, leg and groin meet. This other hand, uh, just relax in front of you, a little bit open over the top, a little bit wider than your shoulder width, so it should be fairly comfortable when you're in this position. So starting in children of mine, when you're coming into hustle for example, make sure that the back hand is coming up, meeting the front hand, and then swapping over. So pulling up with this hand here, this right hand, up towards the end, and so that will just allow the other hand to slide through as it comes down towards your hip. So making sure you try and maintain a nice triangle, a nice angle there. Uh, you should be able to touch the tip of your ear with your fingers if you pull the neck and out of back. From the front, you should have it slightly open here so that you can actually see your hand out to the side of your face. Uh, it's quite actually useful to have a video camera um, so you can see what you're doing or a mirror. Uh, so from here, this just shows that you've got a nice open position and you can practice half so fairly easily from here if you actually want to do so. But this is really just to help you maintain uh, all the positions in the correct uh, hummy of my. So coming back down from half so, you bring your hand, uh, your hip hand, down to your middle hand, or your hand that's at the middle, and then bring it back down to Chura no Kumai. Going into Geda. So really just a matter of this right hand or back hand rotating upwards from the elbow. So this front hand uh, will relax a little bit, will loosen up and up, will drop slightly generally. Uh, but all you're trying to do is come from here and tune on and rotate the back elbow up. So it's just rotating around this way quite nicely, quite easily. If I show you from the side the angle that's happening, or the movement that's happening, it's literally coming down from here, rotating up. And the chudan rotating up. It should be held against the body, like from all of them, so you've got that as part of your uh, structure, making it a bit stronger. So coming up from Gedan, back into Chudan no Kumai. If you want to practice going into Waki no Kumai, so from Chudan, bring your uh, lower hand or your back hand in, meet your front hand, drop it down and this time make sure you've left a little additional space in between so you may not be able to see quite so easily here step back a bit um, that should be a fist width between your hands and the uh, side of your thighs so that it makes it a little bit easier when you go into the door to rotate around the closer it is into your body the harder it is to make that movement work so make sure your arms are relaxed that if anything the front hand will be slightly up and the back hand will be slightly down and you're pulling back to cover your centre. Let's go back to Chudan Okunai. Going into Jordan, I'll drop down a little bit. So coming from Chudan, back hand comes in, meets the front hand, comes over the head. You want that little angle, so this is coming down towards the forehead or the chin of your opponent, so it's a bit of a threat. You need to be thinking about pulling your shoulder blades back so that you are not blocking your own view. If you don't pull them back, you're more likely to end up here and blocking your own vision. So pull back those shoulder blades so you can get in a nice clear position. And this should feel reasonably comfortable once you pull back the shoulder blades. So back 
So this is how you can practice your kumo and your hand changeovers at home without a negative.